Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Tuesday the 18th of June and I've got a bit of a croaky voice. So I think we're going to have a, a quick reading today. So let's see who comes out with our cards today. Okay, right. We've got the Seven of Cups and I know we've seen him before. We've also got the Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups, the guy's looking down, isn't he? He's looking at all his options and he seems to be confused. But the Lady of the Nine of Pentacles, well, she's looking up and she seems to be reaching quite happily for one of those pentacles. It's like she knows that they're all there for the taking. So there's an element of choice here in both of these cards. I guess their mindsets are very different though, aren't they? So the guy, you can just tell by the way, he's kind of like chewing his nails there and pointing, he's not quite sure. So he's very indecisive, whereas this lady isn't. She's very decisive. She's going for exactly what she wants. Um, potentially that's not the biggest pentacle she's going for there, but maybe it's what she needs. It's that little missing piece that she needs um, today to help her in some way. So I do feel today the difference. There's opportunities and there's things on offer to us. We always have choices, okay? It's our mindset that decides whether those choices are relevant, helpful, there for us. Sometimes if we make a choice, it does mean we have to do something that perhaps we don't like or it changes the status quo in some way. Um, and that can stop us from pretending that it is a choice, if you see what I mean. Now, if we look at the Seven of Cups, the cups are all overturned, aren't they? So they're, they're upside down. So we can't actually see what's inside them. We get a little bit of a clue because there's a river running out of this one. There's a couple of ladders, which would signify going up in the world. We can see this one's got a snake coming out of it. Um, there's a bat wing there as well. All very um, inconclusive as to what's actually there. Um, and I guess that's life, isn't it? Sometimes we just don't know if we make a choice how it's going to pan out. But does that mean we never make a choice? Does that mean we never do anything to, to move on in our lives? And with the Nine of Pentacles, of course, we've got this lovely bird of prey here. He's actually sat on the pentacle that the lady is choosing. I feel that's a guidance thing. I feel that that is being drawn to a particular thing because you just know instinctively that it's right for you. Um, and she's not looking at any others, is she? Because she's been guided here to this point. Of course, the cups are also linked to our emotions. Um, so it might mean needing to take some time to really feel about, how do we feel about the different choices in our life? The option that feels most happy and joyful for us is perhaps the one that we go for, even if we don't 100% know how that's what that's going to lead to in our lives. So I am going to leave that there now because I am losing my voice. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow and be back again with another reading for you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.